today's motion picture is Interceptor 2022. Firstly, let me start by saying thank you to everyone who watched my last video as I have got over 100 views on one of my videos for the first time. What's the big deal? This may not be a big deal for most YouTubers, for me it most definitely is. So please leave some constructive feedback in the comments below. You stink! <laughs> Elsa Pataki stars in this action adventure film. You will recognize her from the Fast and Furious franchise. She is also the wife of Crims... Crims... Crims? Let's try that again. She is also the wife of Chris Hemsworth, who just happens to be one of the executive producers of this one. Written by Stuart Beatty, who has also brought us the film Collateral, which I really did enjoy. And directed by Matthew Riley. We're the only interceptor platform protecting from a nuclear missile attack. We have a situation. Unauthorized missile removal. Female army captain has just taken charge of a missile interceptor station. This is then under siege by terrorists and she must defend it until backup arrives. The film starts by telling you what an interceptor actually is. This is where a group of individuals are responsible for taking out any nuclear missiles coming towards America. From the onset it is quite clear this army captain has some demons in the closet. These are then revealed much later. The acting in this one is unfortunately not very good. In particular by the lead actress but also by some of her colleagues. This massively affected the movie and made it really less believable and watchable. The interaction between the head terrorist and the captain were very laboured and just didn't feel right. The cheesy one-liners were just full of mould and she really couldn't pull them off. I have contained or killed everyone else on this vessel. And we control 16 nuclear missiles. I need to disable your command centre, so I will be getting into that room. This action film touches on sexual harassment, racism and sexism and tries to really tackle them the best way it can. I won't say any more than that as I'm here to review the movie, not ruin the movie. I did enjoy the fight scenes and the gunfights. I felt the storyline was quite good which intermittently brought it to life. The terrorist attempts to get into that station become more and more elaborate and aggressive as the film progresses which I did enjoy. There's a decent finish to this one but that's the only thing that really stuck out. There is some strong language, a few images of a scantily dressed woman but no sex or nudity but lots of violence. This film has lots of good ideas but the execution was very poor. The acting is below par which immensely affected the foundations of this one. It threatens to come to life but this whimpers out quite quickly. It attempts to associate itself with Die Hard and Assault on Precinct 13 but it unfortunately lands flat on its face. I will give this action film a 5 out of 10 and therefore don't waste your time on this one. You want to get out of here alive. It's not going so well for you, is it? You plan for every possible outcome, but you couldn't plan for me. Ironically, you could say that I was the interceptor for you guys from this film and destroyed it before it got to you. <laughs> that is by me. Thanks. And in return, all you need to do is like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I shall see you in the next one.